the glass and what we were concerned with because of our own work, because it would facilitate our own work, but also because of what Joseph said in his little thing, which I thought was totally right about, um, you know, tra training future scholars and, and mm -hmm. composers to do this kind of work. Mm -hmm. And that your job as a teacher really has a lot to do with your ability to facilitate not so much teaching them every single thing they need to know, but teaching them a way of thinking about things mm -hmm. that will let them go off and do mm -hmm. what they need to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then certain principles that will help them, you know, as they explore what's possible for them. Well, you know, it, it's kind of interesting because I was just having an interesting experience about teaching students with the bridge program that I'm working with this summer, where we're teaching students who are coming in to the university who have um, who have what most people call deficiencies, where they're lacking in some sort of skill mm -hmm. um, because of some sort of failure along the line in the high schools or what have you. And most of them place in basic writing classes. They place into our letter 101, 102. They asked me if I was teaching one of those classes in the fall, if they could get into my class. And I said, well, I'm teaching RET 105. And we talked about the difference in the levels. Now, RET 105 is for the majority of students who come in with the skills that we expect them to have. And I was explaining that I was teaching the art and design the section for art and design students. They wanted to make, <coughs> they asked me about the types of assignments I'd be doing. And they said, is there something like that for RET 101? And I said, no, there's not. And they said, well, how come I can't get into your class? And the only answer I had for them, beyond that you're not all art design majors, is because the university doesn't think that you're smart enough to be in this class. And you know, and I, and of course, I didn't tell them that. But I think that there's, I think there's a lot of hidden, th hidden things going on in the university that tell us who gets to do this work and who doesn't. And the undergrad level, on the graduate level, with with professors and faculty. And I, funding. It's right. right. Who gets the funding for the hardware we need? We're sitting in a room full of state-of-the-art computers, 